how to enable Android subsystem for Chrome based OS. In our case, it is FIDE OS. So let's do that. Basically, once you load up your FIDE OS on your computer, you might get this little notification which is saying activate Android subsystem. You can directly click from here or else we can go into the launcher menu or application menu and you'll see this green little Android icon is there. Just click on that and it will give you your third party software notice agree with the terms and simply click on launch. It is going to take a little bit of time, maybe a couple of minutes. And as soon as it is finished, I see this menu kind of Android is, I can simply close this. What I'll do, I'll simply go to Chromium and I'll try to download one APK file. Maybe let's go to Google or maybe I want to just install one explorer and let me download the APK file. Now my APK is getting downloaded. I can simply click on show in folder, be cautious with your APKs. Oh, basically I was missing one thing. What I have to do, I need to go to settings. Then I need to click on FIDE OS settings because I am not installing that from Play Store. Once you go into FIDE OS settings, click on enable developer mode. This button, just click on that, click on confirm and then you need to click on restart. Let's go to settings again. And here, if we go to FIDE OS settings, now it is showing you are already a developer. That's good. Let me go to file manager now and let me go to downloads and let me double click on the APK file. Ah, it is showing continue or cancel. That's good. Let's click on continue. Then click on install at the bottom right corner. The app is getting installed now and it is installed. Let's click on open. Next. Next. I'm allowing the access. Then basically I can go into the directory and do whatever we can do with a file explorer. And that is it. You can basically install any APK by this method. And meanwhile, we can also launch our Linux applications. Check out my other video where I have enabled Linux on FIDE OS or Chrome OS. You can install any Debian or Ubuntu based packages. Thanks for watching. See you in some next amazing videos.